Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and today I want to finish painting that Atlantic bottlenose dolphin that we started last week. As you remember, we finished it and it looked, now it's been fired in the oven. That's good to go. I'll show you what the final version, well, I'll give you a quick, quick look at the final version. What I did is I painted them and that's what he'll end up looking like in the end. So, and it's got a nice base and everything. So, the colors that we're going to be using, I got various color blues. I'm going to start off with a darker blue, then go to lighter blues, and then almost like a, well, like a like turquoise color here. And then we're going to be using some whites, some black, and some gray to do the actual dolphin itself. So, what I want to do is I want to push these over to the side. That way they're over there. I wanted to have them in a particular order so I could remember which ones I had used and which ones I hadn't. So I'm going to put that over there. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to paint the base. So this is going to, I'm going to make this look like water. So this whole area here. And we're going to paint that like a very dark ultramarine blue. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that right there. And put that there, and that's good to start. And I'll keep this over here just in case I need to put a little bit extra. We're going to take a fairly wide brush, and then we're going to do that. Okay, so we're going to dab that and make that look really nice. This way we can cover more area with this brush. I like that because it's wider. Yeah, it's looking really good now. I'll just spin that around for you so you can get a good look at it. See that? We went all the way around. That's going to be your base coat. Now that that's done, what I want to do is, so it's a little easier to work with, we're going to use the hair dryer to dry it out a little bit. And now that we've dried that, it's ready for another coat of paint. We're going to, this time, we're going to go with, I'm going to put this over here now that it's been used. We're going to go with another blue. I'm going to put that right here. And that's good. Stack those up there. just. And now we'll take a, another brush, not quite as wide. And we're going to use that for the, the blue color here. So what we're going to do is just going to dab it in here and there to give a little variation of color. See that? I'm just going to dab in that in a little bit. I'm going to dab. Put a little bit there. Looking good. So we'll work our way around. A little dab here and there. Because what you want to do is have the variation of color. So when you have, you'll see as we get closer towards the end of painting this base that uh, how it makes a difference. So we'll do a little dab here and there. Ah, it's looking good. So now we're going to go on to our next color blue. That's a little lighter. Put that right there. Now I'm going to go back for that brush, this brush right here.
now. Take that. And we'll dab a little bit here and there on that. So see how I'm doing that? Put a little bit here, a little bit there. there. See, I'm just dabbing a little bit here and there. A little here, a little there. Dabs here and there. See how we did that? So now we're going to go to our, to our next color. This is a, a lighter color blue. I'm going to put that right in there. Uh, it's looking good. So we'll take that brush again, clean it out. Now, I'm gonna use that lighter color. So we just wanna dab it ever so lightly. So you can start to see the variation in color. I'll just kind of rotate it a little bit. But that, that adds to it. So I'm going to do a little bit here. And just blend it in. that just do that now I'm just gonna put that down for a second so I can see that I'm just gonna dab it in there now we're gonna go on to our next color which is even a lighter blue. We'll put that right there. That's uh, I'm just gonna dry that out a little bit. So now we're gonna do this a little bit. So see, we're just gonna dab ever so slightly. Just kind of dab it in various places around there. See that? Let me rotate that around a little bit. I 
and just dab in various areas around there. See how nice that's coming along? You see the nice variation in color. And that's the way the ocean looks. You know, you always have the lights and the darks and things. So the next thing that we want to do is we'll come up with, this look, almost looks like a aqua green. We'll put a little bit of that there. And then we're just going to dab in little places here and there. See that? Wait, see how I'm doing that? Just kind of dabbing it ever so lightly. Now, we're going to get a little bit in the front here. Ah, looking pretty good. So we got that. Now, the next color we're going to use, we're going to use some white colors. So I'm going to use, this is like a little, it's, it's more like an off-white color. And then, I'll put that back over here because we're going to be probably using that again. So, And then I'm going to put uh, a white color here. Exact white. So now, We'll take that brush again, dab it out nicely, and now we're just ever so slightly going to hit some different points here with the whites. Just going to dab here and there. Some whites up here. See that? I'm getting right up there. I want to give it a nice variation. There. That's really starting to come along nicely. And then we'll just do one more color white and the base should be done. So I'm going to take and do this the very white color. So I'm just going to add a little bit there. See that? Little flicks of white. See how nice that looks? Let me kind of rotate it around. You know, I'm looking at one area that I probably want to add a little more white, and that's going to be back here. Yeah, now that looks a little better. It kind of looked, uh, it looked like it needed. And I want to see one more. I want to add a little more here. Yeah, that's looking good now. So, I'll rotate it around. 
See that? So you can see all the various colors. It really makes it look nice. The next thing that we want to do is we want to work on the dolphin itself. But what I'm going to do is I want to blow dry this so I can handle the base without getting uh, mixing the colors together too much. So I'm going to take and blow dry this again. Now that that's dry, now we can move on to the dolphin. So for the dolphin, I want to put a nice gray base coat. I'm going to take that and we're going to put that right here. Put that right there. I'm going to take this and just kind of dab that all around. Yeah, it's looking really good. So now that we've got a nice gray base coat, because that's basically the primary color of the dolphin, we can move on to do some of the other colors. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to do a little mixing. Now that you can see how we've painted that entirely now. All gray, top, bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start mixing some colors. So now for that, we're going to add a little more gray. But before we, I'm just going to add a little more gray here. But before we do that, I, th I would like to do paint the eyes and the mouth and the blowhole on the dolphin. So I'm going to take some black here. And we're going to put that right there. And now we will, let's see. I want to get a, a, one of my finer brushes for that. And we're going to paint. We're going to paint the blowhole, which is right up here. And then We're going to paint the eye. And then we're going to paint the eye over here. See that? And then we have the mouth here that I want to paint. I want to paint the inside black. This way it'll, it'll be a little more pronounced when you're looking at it. See that? So I'm taking and going inside that line with a little bit of black. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We got, we got that. See that? We got that. See how that looks? It just makes it a little easy to see. And now, now that we've done that, we can work to blend some of the colors now. Just going to wipe my hands off a little bit that way. So now what I do want to do is take some of this gray now. We're going to mix it with the white. So it, you can mix the colors that way because I want to have variations of white and gray on the, um, the dolphin. So we're going to mix these together. Because usually like the underside of the dolphin is a little, is a little whiter. So 
So what I'm going to do is paint a little bit of white under here. I mix it with the gray because I don't want it to be too white either. So we got that. I'm going to paint right under here. And then I'm just going to dab along the edge. We can get under here. It's going to dab that ever so slightly. See, I'm going to, I did in here. I'll try to see. See how I did that on the, on the side there? And then we'll kind of blend this a little bit too on the flippers. The, um, so I'm just going to, And then on the here, I want to lighten that up a little bit too. I'm just going to dab it a little bit like there. Along the edges. See how we did that? Now, we'll also take, we can, I'm going to do a little more white and gray in a few places here. So we're going to, a little more gray, and then a little more white here. Take that gray, put it into the white. I'm going to kind of mix those together now. Get all those. So it'll give us a little variation of color. So now I just want to get any excess off there and then maybe just kind of add a little bit in some of these areas here. Just kind of Maybe get a little around the eye. So I'm just going to dab that a little bit like that. We'll mix it up a little bit. Now, what I also want to do is add a little black in there now. 
make it a little darker gray. So I'm going to mix these. So I have to add a little more gray. Don't want to make it too dark. So you just practice mixing the black and the gray together. You just want to make it darker. And I think what I am going to do is take a different brush here and use this to kind of blend the colors now. But I will, let's see. Let's see if I get that, some of that paint out there. We got that out. Now, now we can play with it a little bit. So now it's going to be a little darker. So I'm going to take some of this darker gray. Just kind of put it around the edges there, maybe dab it a little bit here. Just dab it ever so slightly. A dab here and there. So I want to have a little variation of color. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to take this dab ever so slightly to, to add that color. coming along nicely. See that? I'm just gonna at it now. See that? We have nice variation of color there. And that's exactly the look that I wanted. You see how we did that? And then I might just do a little more here too. Try to blend that all together. See how nice that looks? We want to have that nice variation for the Atlantic bottle nose dolphin. So you want to have lights and darks. And the last step in the process would be to, I, I don't want to do it in here in the studio because it, it has a, a very strong smell, but I would do it outside. It's, uh, I have this uh, Krylon UV clear acrylic coating. You can see this right here. You know, and then what you do, shake it up. You can hear that? And then what I would do is, once this dries, I would go outside, take this off, and spray it. Wear some gloves, wear a mask, because the smell's not that great. But just, just give it a light, light coating, and it will make it look really nice. And uh, I would probably let it dry for several hours out there like that, because once you bring it in, it still might have a slight smell, but it won't be that bad at that particular time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the final version will look like. I just need to dry my hands off. I want to make sure 
I don't have a lot of paint on my hands here. And I'll show you what the final version will look like once you spray it. This is the final version of the bottle, Atlantic Bottle Nose Dolphin. See how nice and shiny it is? See how nice and shiny the water is there like that? Gives it a really nice effect. So I'll kind of rotate that around. You can see like the top of the blowhole. You can see all the nice dark colors up the top. And you can see the nice variation in color. You can see the underside, how that's a little, little lighter gray compared to the rest, like a whitish gray. You can see underneath there how it's a whitish gray. You know, and um, that's what the dolphin will look like when it's completed. I do want to thank you for coming to the show, Creations of Clay, and I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.